Hey everyone, Sean here. Today I'm doing part two of Ed Sheeran's Make It Rain, where I show you how to play the sweet guitar solo that happens right in the middle of the track. So if you check the description, you're gonna find a link to the tabs. And while you're down there, you can see my social media links. And of course, hit that subscribe button for more lessons just like this one. So what I'm gonna do is play the whole solo for you from beginning to end, and then break down each phrase so you can understand what's going on, and then put the pieces back together and see how the pieces add up to the whole. So here's how the whole solo goes. So you can check again in the description for the tabs for that, but I'm going to show you how each phrase goes, starting with this really awesome lead line that kind of launches us into this solo. That one right there, okay. Let's break that down. The first four notes go like this. We're on the A string on fret four with your first finger. Hammer on to fret six with your third finger. Then we move up to fret four on the D and G strings after that. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna go like this on the D string four with your first finger, hammer on to six with your third finger. And then go to the G string, the same thing. And then slide up to 8 though after you finish that and grab the 7th fret of the B string with your 2nd finger before going from 8 back to 6 on the G string. So it's going to be... Watch out because we have a hammer on followed by a slide. Right there. B string, fret 7, and then... Eight, back to six. Let's put that all together. I'll play it slow. Just like that. So that last slide is going to be into fret six, not eight and then six. So it's going to be a quick slide that we really attack the note we're going towards. Right there. Okay, so once you're here, you're going to hold that note for a while pull off to fret 4 and then grab fret 7 with your 4th finger on the B string. And then you're going to go like this. You're going to grab fret 6 and give it a little tug and bend it up. Now I'm playing on an acoustic so the bends are kind of difficult. They're actually playing the 6th uh, fret of the G string and the 7th fret of the B string at the same time and bending 6 up while holding 7. I can't do that so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bend the 6 instead of both notes. But anyways... And then you're gonna release the bend, pull off to 4, and then grab 6 on the D string. So again here... Okay, and then we're going to go, we're on fret 6 of the D string with your 3rd finger, barring across the G and B strings on fret 4, you're going to play those two notes together. Go back to 6 on the D string and then just play fret 4 on the G string. Notice how it's two notes the first time and then one note the second time. Then you're going to go, which is uh, fret 6 on the D string with your 3rd finger, grab fret 6 on the A string with your 2nd finger, and then fret 5 on the D string with your 1st finger. And then the last part of the first half goes like this. So I'm going to be grabbing the 4th fret of the A string, sliding to fret 6 on the A string, 
and then your first finger is on the fifth fret of the D string, and your second finger is on the sixth fret of the D string. Okay, let's hear the first half again, and then see if you can see all those little bits that we talked about. Got it? The second half goes like this. Let's get that phrase right there. So we're starting off with a very similar idea from the first half. Right there. So we're going to start on the 6th fret of the G string with your 2nd finger. Slide it from 6 to 8. Go to the 7th fret on the B string, hammer on to 9. Actually, no, you're going to go, uh, excuse me, we're going to start on fret 6 of the G string, slide to fret 8, and then go 7 on the B string, followed by 7 on the high E string. Cool. Then we're going to go, which is 7 and 9, hammer on your 1st and 3rd fingers and then 7 and 9 as well on the high E string. So it's on the B string first, and then the high E string, followed by a bend. You're going to bend that 9th fret up to the 11th. Just like that. And then you're going to go back to fret 9. Well, you're still on fret 9. You're just going to release the bend and play it again. And then do this. So you're going to grab the 9, bend it up to 11, and then play 7, and then this thing, which is going to be a bar across fret 7 on the B and high E strings, and then you're going to hammer on your third finger on fret 9 of the B string, like that. So those two notes sound together, and then you hammer on just one of them one on the B string. Okay. The next part is this. So you got uh, fret 8 on the G string and fret 7 on the B string. You're just going to play 1 and the 2 and the 3 and the 4 and the 5 and the... So it's da 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 It happens for longer than you think it's going to. It's, it's, instead of being like three groups of triplets, it's five groups of triplets. And then after that, you're gonna slide from um, eight to six, pull off from six to four, and then back to fret six. So it's a slide, pull off, hammer on, all on the G string. And then that last bit, play fret 4 on the G string, and then slide from 6 to 8, grab fret 7 on the B string with your second finger, Go from 8 to 6, quick, slide, pull off again, to fret 4, and then 6 on the D string, kind of where we started. So that last part again. And slide up to finish. You're just going to like throw it away. Okay. The whole thing, let's see if I can play the whole thing again. From beginning to end, here we go. So 
that's going to be how you play the solo to Ed Sheeran's Make It Rain. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. My name is Sean, and hopefully I'll see you next time with another lesson.